Okay, so as for her custom moves. This is the one I just got, and I'm not exactly sure what this one is. Let me see that list. Oh yeah, this has the cape effect. That's right. Yeah. Oh, it turns oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting. Still stops in the air. It's not as active though. I would not recommend this. <laughs> not at all. Um, okay, so this side B, this one goes the furthest out of all of them. And the damage is consistent no matter how long you charge it for. It's only if you didn't, if you unsweet spot it, it gets 7, and sweet spot is 14. So I'm gonna try to get the not sweet spot now. Got it. And I s now I'm actually sweet spotting it more than I want. There it is, that's 7. So you gotta hit with like the back blast. There you go. But the sweet spot is 14. And you can't really aim it too high up or down. I guess it's similar to how it was in melee, I guess. It wasn't too... You couldn't aim it that much. Uh, as for down B... Why did I get that? This one is the long range one. No matter what, fully charged or not. Same distance. So that one does 5% and the max one does 20. Yep. And this up B here, there's no damage. But the travel distance actually, well, the teleporting portion has a wind box on it. Oh, okay. That's interesting, but not really good. Yeah, like if you want to try to do something weird. Yeah. I definitely like default better than that. But you know what's crazy about this, man? Like these custom moves is that teams totally changes the game for them, too. So, yeah. It's just another reason to get excited about them. This one, I, this goes much further, though. <sighs> Because I don't think regular B goes that high. Let me see. Uh, yeah, it does look about maybe like 20% further. Yeah, just no hitbox. It does have it. It does put you in hit stun from the wind. Interesting. Oh, something weird about a teleport. If you're in the ground and you teleport to the ground, and if you're in the air and you teleport to the ground, it forces you to like, it forces Go the to full. The side. It forces the full distance. Oh, okay, so it'll, like, push you to the side, the amount that you haven't traveled yet. Yeah, it doesn't, like, land. That's interesting. And also the fact that when you jump with it, it carries momentum. So that's why I'm jumping so high. Oh. That's why okay. I'm... That's why that's happening. Like the zero suit up being brawl? Yeah, because look how high that is. That's... Jeez. Yeah, it was throwing me off trying to recover. Because I'm trying to, like, do this. But <laughs> it's hard. And also, this out of all our bees, it doesn't sweet spot in the bottom. Huh. Because they added that, but. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, this one. No, oh, no, wait, no. It does, yeah. Just after. Oh, sorry. Distance. It's not right. This one does. The other one doesn't. And hold on, guys, again. Yo, Randall, I think you're cutting out a little bit. No, that's me. Just hold on a sec. Okay. So, yeah. That's pretty much all the moves for that one. Now, for the other three. Uh, yes, Tsukiyomi, yeah, that's the spotlight. I just. You guys can hear me, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Man, yo, they're talking about L canceling being good or bad game design in the melee social group, uh, which is. Ugh. I dealt with that conversation with someone already. Yeah, uh, what do you think? Just, let's not even get into it. But what's your what side of the fence are you on? Uh, as for button presses, maybe it's annoying, 
but the purpose of it is you actually have to think about what you're attacking with. Yeah, I guess. Instead of I just like I just pressing it's... directions and rubbing on their C stick as they're landing. But um, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of true. But like, I still think it's bad game design because there's no reason to not do it ever. Yeah. Uh, all right. So this one is, we nicknamed Naru's Hate. Huh? Yo, uh, the video feed froze for me. Yeah, it froze for me too. Okay, this suck. Uh, at least we fix that. <laughs> Neighbors hate. That's funny. <laughs> okay, is it good now? Uh, yeah. Right. Oh, wait. No, it was good for a second, then it froze. Damn you, Sky! Oh, uh, hold on, my pops is it's... calling. Yeah, it's going now. So okay. what was that one? That this should be. Yeah, hold up. Okay. Oh wow. So pretty much it pulls you in and explodes. There's no invincibility. I don't recall them being invincibility. There's no reflective properties. Just pulls you in and throws you out. Yeah. It's similar to if you've seen Ness's, one of his down bees it does that. And that will be sucks. Yeah, I can see that. Um, oh. But pretty much, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's no, no reflective properties. No armor okay. Either. Now this one is a power version. That's how far it goes. It's Oof. very, it's very slow, but you can maneuver it better. You can move it more, and if you can see, it does 18. It does a lot. And the weak kid does nine. It's just really slow, and it takes forever to explode. It's. Oh yeah, wow. I think this one's strictly for edge guarding. That's the soonest I can let go. Oof. And is it seven? Sweet spot it. Let me check that again. No, that's not sweet spot it. Like right here. No, it does. Oh, yeah. Interesting, it's seven with about it. Okay, so as for that, down B, this is the power version, no matter what, it's gonna be close to you. Does a lot more damage. Does eight, fully charged, I think that's twenty twenty eight? Yeah. But it's always close to you. So that's the disadvantage to that one. Yeah. Uh, as it is up B, it only goes straight up. And as you've seen, it has a sweet spot. The other teleports grabs it, that one doesn't. Now, the weird part of it is this is what happens. If they you. Get shot up with you? Yeah, and the explosion actually spikes. Gotta get a little bit more scent. Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, you can probably use this out of shield, but recovery wise, you're gonna you're sacrificing re better recovery. Yeah. So, that happens. I know it looks very silly. But. Yeah, so. That's it for that.